We're going to build this pressing idea into some small sided game work in here. Okay? Building up to a finish on goal, but we're really going to work on those cues and those triggers of when to press and when not to press. Because we can't press all the time. You two go as target players on the end. Just go on the end in there. Chris and Dan go in there as greens. Kyle, Woody, Ed and Lewis go in there as a four. Stand on that white line for me. We've got four versus two in one square. Um, when the four attackers break out, they've got to try and beat four defenders. And the four defenders need to be either protect the goals in behind them or protect a, a line which is in front of them. Greens, don't forget, once you've made your two or your three passes, sorry, yeah, with the greens, so Jack, if you played into me in there, and you've got no pressure on the ball and you want to try and pop one in the goal, you can try and do that as well. There's no pressure on the ball. You can shoot from anywhere. Okay, ready? Let's go, play. Now, stop there. Just go back in the sims in there. Go back. Chris, go back to where you were. If there's no pressure on the ball there and he can look to go longer, Ed already decided he couldn't get any pressure on. So you drop off there, but you've got to make sure you protect what? Good. The goal, so the pass down the side. Not bad shape in here, Woody. You might have to give yourself a little bit of distance in here, though, to protect what? The goal in here. So, pressure or no pressure on the ball? No pressure. So what do we have to do? Might have to drop and narrow off and protect the forward pass. If Simsy drives in though, Simsy drives in and Ed's the one who decides, hey, we can get a bit of pressure on the ball now. What are the Blues looking to do now? Squeeze in a little bit as well. So we can squeeze in. We're 4v4 in here, so Woody can squeeze in. Carl can get ready. You can probably come across here a little bit more, Carl. And threaten that ball as it goes across in there. But that's the first one. Pressure, no pressure. So we said if there was no pressure on the ball, you had to drop off and defend the line and protect the goal behind. If you could get good pressure on, then you can press, but then the second person has to press and the third person comes in as well. Greens, we'll get two if you can run over line, three if you can go long in there. Blues, if you win it and you can get it into your target player, I'm going to give you one goal. So they're the things. Now it's a little competition. Five minutes on the clock, winning team. Thinking about the cues and the triggers of when to press, when not to press. Ready? Good, Dan. Keep checking. Play. Play. Now we're tighter. Now we're tighter. Okay, okay. So it's all about pressing and working out the cues and the triggers of when to press. So if the attackers have a bad touch, you can go and get tight to them, force them backwards. If they then face backwards, everybody can squeeze together and press in as a team. If they've got good possession though, you'll have to drop off and protect the goal behind you, otherwise they'll be able to score over your head.